Hi, first grade. I have another story for you today and just a little funny story about this one. This is called The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes. And this is actually the third or fourth time I've tried to record this because I accidentally deleted it twice. And um, I just thought it was a funny story to have, you know, of all the stories that I've recorded, this was the one that I deleted by accident um, a couple of times. So hopefully this one will work and I hope you enjoy the story. The girl who never made mistakes. For Beatrice Bottomwell, Friday began like any other day. She matched her socks and of course she put her shoes on their proper feet. She remembered to feed her hamster Humbert his favorite food, broccoli. And when she made a sandwich for her brother Carl's lunch, she used exactly the same amount of peanut butter as jelly. When she stepped outside to greet her fan, she didn't forget to say good morning and thank you. They asked if she made her bed. She had. They asked if she forgot to do her math homework. Nope. But what about tonight's talent show? They asked. I'm ready, said Beatrice with a smile. After all, her juggling act had won three years in a row. Most people in town didn't even know Beatrice's name. They just called her the girl who never makes mistakes because for as long as anyone could remember, she never did. Unlike Beatrice, Carl made lots of mistakes. He ate his crayons and drew with his green beans. He danced with his hands and played the piano with his feet. Carl loved to make mistakes. At school, Beatrice was on a cooking team with her two best friends, Millie and Sarah. To make their giant rhubarb muffins, they needed four eggs. Beatrice went to the refrigerator and carefully chose the biggest, eggiest eggs she could find. But on the way back, her eggs slipped out from, her legs slipped out from under her. The eggs went flying. Beatrice was about to make her first mistake, but she didn't. That was close, thought Beatrice. It says, sorry, Beatrice, I dropped a piece of rhubarb. Oh, uh, 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 right because she has the egg in her mouth. For the rest of the school day, Beatrice could not stop thinking about her almost mistake. On her way home from school, Beatrice watched Millie and Sarah ice skating in the park. Come join us, said Millie. It's fun, said Sarah. Beatrice watched them slip and slide on the frozen pond. Millie and Sarah laughed as they wobbled on the ice. No thanks, said Beatrice. At supper, Beatrice barely touched her food. Is everything all right, kiddo? asked her father. I'm worried I'll mess up tonight, said Beatrice, and everyone will be watching. Worry? You don't make mistakes, he said with a smile. Beatrice tried to smile, too. After supper, Beatrice got ready for the talent show. First, she woke Humbert from his nap. Next, she got the salt shaker from the kitchen table. Finally, she filled a balloon with water. The school auditorium was packed. Beatrice felt her stomach jumping around inside her. Beatrice waited for her juggling music to begin. That's her, that's the girl who never makes mistakes, said a woman. Oh, we know she'll be perfect, said a man. When the music started, she tossed Humbert into the air. Next, she added the salt shaker and finally the water balloon. Beatrice didn't miss a beat. The crowd clapped with delight. The Beatrice noticed something odd about the salt shaker. The specks falling out of it were not white. Hmm. Uh, choo. Humbert was so surprised by his sneeze that he grabbed the water balloon with his claws. Humbert, pieces of water balloon and the pepper rained down on top of Beatrice. See, it was pepper instead of salt. For the first time in as long as anyone could remember, Beatrice made a mistake, and it was a big one. The music stopped. Beatrice didn't know what to do. Cry, run off the stage. The crowd sat stunned. They couldn't believe that the girl who never makes mistakes made a mistake. Beatrice looked up at Humbert. He looked back at her. His hamster fur was soaked and speckled with bits of balloon. Beatrice let out a giggle. The giggle grew into a chuckle, and the chuckle became a laugh. 
those three words, the giggle, chuckle, laugh, made me think of are the shades of meaning that we talked about, how each word is a little bit stronger and each word gives a little bit more specific description, even though they all mean laugh. Um, it's it's a you know great way the author can make it really clear exactly what's happening. So you can almost hear the audience or hear hear Beatrice laughing harder and harder and harder, those kind of shades of meaning. The people in the crowd looked at each other and then back at Beatrice. They began to giggle, then chuckle, then finally roar with laughter. Beatrice and the audience laughed until they couldn't remember why they were laughing. That night, Beatrice slept better than she ever had. In the morning, no fans greeted Beatrice. When she got dressed, Beatrice, for no reason at all, put a polka dot sock on one foot and a plaid sock on the other. Beatrice and Carl made sandwiches. This time, they put the peanut butter and jelly on the outside. They called it an inside-out PB&J. Lunch was messy and delicious. Later, Beatrice found Millie and Sarah skating in the park. They fell a lot and laughed. Now, people no longer call her the girl who never makes mistakes. They just call her Beatrice. So I enjoy the story. Um, you know, of course, we're human and we all make mistakes and that's perfectly normal. And I think the way Beatrice handled it was really great that when she did make the mistake, she just she laughed at herself and she didn't take herself too seriously. And, you know, we know that everybody makes mistakes. It happens. And, you know, it her worrying about making a mistake kept her in the beginning of the story from having fun with her friends or having fun with her brother. And then once she saw that, you know, hey, it happens, it's okay. Um, she seemed, it seemed like she had a lot more fun. So just a nice, I think, friendly reminder. And again, hopefully this one works because this will be the third or fourth time. I hopefully I don't make a mistake this one, this time and click the wrong button. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the story and have a great rest of your day. Take care, talk, to, talk with you soon. Bye.